Hello everybody. Uh, again, this is just going to be a short video. Uh, I had a dream a couple of months ago. I meant to put this out there sooner, but things happened in my life, in my own personal life, and I couldn't do that. But every day I've been trying to get that out, and things have been happening. So now. Uh, it's still not too late to let everybody know about this dream which I think is very relevant and it is another kind of visions or prophecies that you can take uh, and believe that is going to happen I had a dream that I was in front of a very large crowd of people it was an indoor place i don't know where it was and what location or you know uh, what even country but um, it was a big indoor place with a large uh, number of people there uh, and i was talking to them and this is what I was saying that there is going to be a worldwide revival of Christianity this year and that is all that's all my dream I believe there is indeed going to be a revival of Christians not only just people getting saved and know about the blood of Christ the sacrifice that God has made but I believe there is going to be a rise a dramatic rise of radical Christians this year uh, it makes quite sense because of what's happening in the world and how the evil is advancing it's quite natural reaction from genuine born-again Christians to rise up to power and rise up to oppose at least and protest so I believe that there is going to be a revival of Christians and a rise in radical believers in the body of Christ if you and I do our job if you do your bit in your place in your life in your surrounding in your circle be it circle of friends circle of colleagues whatever uh, circle of people or contacts you may have in your own society if you do your bit what God has commanded you what God has put in your heart to do without being shy about it without being ashamed of the blood of Christ that was paid for our sins and if I do mine if all of us in the body of Christ do their jobs right in our own circle we'll see a totally different word a word that will be totally different to what we have at the moment a nicer word a more peaceful word a word that there won't be any manipulations from authorities in our own personal lives they've gone far too long pushing their own evil agendas and we have to push back resist the devil and he will flee resist it 
wherever you are. If you are in a department store, if you are in a um, governmental office where they are pushing evil agenda, you as low as you may be as far as your office chart dictates, you still have a voice. You can say, you can put that out there and show that there are, because you are a representative of a body. You are a representative of millions of Christians across the world, or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands in your com community. If you keep quiet, which is exactly what they want, then, then you cannot complain that they are rolling out their evil agenda because you never resisted. You didn't do, you didn't play your part right. You didn't do your job right. You didn't oppose. You kept quiet. You went silent and they are relying on the mildness of the silent majority. They are relying on the silence of the silent majority. Don't be part of the silent majority. Be outspoken, speak out and say what the word says. Don't say what you wish. Don't say what you hope for. Say what God says. Declare it as if you are God's mouthpiece. You don't have to say God is saying this. You have to say this is what should happen. But it's better if you say God wants this and I am his delegate on earth. Say that boldly. Don't be afraid of being isolated. Don't be afraid of being neglected, isolated and ignored or even looked down at. Let them know that there is a voice, there is an alternative voice to what they are used to hear. There is an alternative voice, that is the voice of God. They're not used to hearing that kind of voice. Let them hear that. If you stay silent and I stay silent, majority of the body of Christ stay silent, they will achieve what they want. But that should not happen. We have to stop them right now. There is going to be a rise and people will rise up more and more. Christians are amongst those protesting in the streets of major cities against evil agendas but Christians will even show themselves openly that they are doing this for God and they are doing this because God has put that in their hearts. You do your part, I do my part. You play your role, I play my, my role in the body of Christ. If God has put you in a place, believe and know that that place is for you to do a mission. God has a mission for you. If you don't know that, then go down on your knees, ask God to reveal it to you and he will tell you what his mission is for you, at least in that part, in that segment of your life. You might not be uh, in that position forever. You might not be there uh, for as long as you hope for or you wish for. You're only there for a short period of time or a long period of time. Regardless of the length of the period that you are in that position, you have a mission. Once you finish and accomplish your mission, God will take you from that position to do another mission 
either somewhere else or in the same area or in a higher position in the same department the same position the same office that is up to God but you have to do your job right as far as God is concerned not doing your job right in the eyes of your manager but doing your job right in the eyes of your Lord and your Savior remember he is your king he is your Lord the Lord of your life he tells you how to live not the governor of your country of your state not the counselor not the uh, manager not the boss that you have at workplace none of that the Lord himself tells you how to live what to do and where to go what to say what not to say I pray that you may have the right words to say at the right time that the Lord God gives you the Holy Spirit the boldness to do what is right in the eyes of the Lord and do the right thing according to the Word of God not according to the eyes or the standards of this world but according to this standard of God himself which is Jesus Jesus Christ of Nazareth our standard is Jesus do not be conformed to the standards of this world but be transformed by renewing of your mind be filled with the Holy Spirit be bold and strong for your Lord is holy and strong he who is in you is stronger than he who is in the world resist the devil and he will flee in Jesus name may God rest and abide his Holy Spirit on you in Jesus name Amen be encouraged and I'll see you again with another video. God bless.